Let's learn how to write chemical formulas for ionic compounds. Once you know the ion charge and the chemical name of a compound, you can determine its chemical formula. There are four steps included in this process. Let's try, write the formula for magnesium chloride. First, write down the metal ion, including its charge. So magnesium, it's Mg, the charge is 2 plus. Now, write down the non-metal ion with its charge. So chlorine is Cl, the charge is 1 minus. Third, you have to keep adding either metal ion or non-metal ion until the positive and negatives cancel each other out. The total charge of a compound must add up to zero. So always start with a lower charge. So chlorine has one minus. We're going to add one more chlorine here. Now, one minus and one minus gives us two minus. So two plus on the magnesium and chlorine, two minus, cancel each other out. Now, rewrite the symbols and count the number of ions present for each element and write that number as a subscript to the right of the ion symbol. So magnesium, we only have one. We write one here. And chlorine, we have two. Write two here. However, number one, we don't need that. It's invisible. We don't need to write that down. So we're just going to go ahead and remove that. So the ionic formula for magnesium chloride is MgCl2. Okay, let's do another example. Iron 3 oxide. Same thing. Write down the metal ion first. So we're going to write down iron Fe. The charge is given in the formula. 3 plus. Now write down the non-metal ion, oxygen. The charge is 2 minus. Now we need to cancel the charges and make sure the charges add up to zero. Start with the lower charge. So oxygen has two minus, we're going to add one more oxygen. Now we have total of four minus on the oxygen side. Okay, we need to add another iron. Now, the total charge on for the iron, we have three plus. Six plus. Now we need to make oxygen a six minus, so we're going to add another oxygen. The total charge on the oxygen is 6 minus, 6 plus, 6 minus, cancel each other out. Now, rewrite the elements and count the number of each ion present and write that number as a subscript to the right of the ion symbol. We have two ions, we're going to put two here. We have three oxygens, we're going to put three here. This is the formula for iron 3 oxide, Fe2O3. There are some practice questions on, in this slide. The answers to these questions are in the description below. Thank you.